Hello fellow followers, welcome back to Fanscene, Greg here, and today for you, recently I sat down with actor Bill Russell to discuss a few things for my upcoming documentary, Why We Love the Video Store, uh, more news on that coming soon, but we, we talked a little bit about his role in the uh, Full Moon Feature Dr. Death Puppet Master spinoff, so here it is, check it out, and enjoy. Dr. Death, let's talk a little bit about Dr. Death. Hey, How did absolutely. you get involved with the Puppet Master Dr. Death? I answered an audition ad. Um, there's a, a couple of uh, online platforms that um, are, are used for, for casting purposes, uh, audition notices, or um, if a casting director wants to call someone in, they do it through one of these platforms. And one of them is called Actors Access. And there was just an ad on there for um, audition for, for this Dr. Death movie. And at the time, I really wasn't all that familiar with with the Puppet Master, uh, uh, you know, line the, yeah. that uh, franchise of, of films. So I, I just thought, oh, those are like nobody watches them. <laughs> Boy, was I mistaken! Um, <laughs> and, and actually, I had auditioned a few months earlier for the for the new Baby Oopsie movie. Oh yeah, um, but didn't get called in Butler. So they they called me to you know they asked me to send a self tape audition, and I auditioned for one of the parts, which was the uh, the the old guy, the sleazeball guy. <laughs> um, and they said, "Well, we're calling you back. We're going to put you online with a casting director, Jessica Hughes, and uh, Dave Parker, the director. But we want you to read for a, a different part, which was Sid, uh, the old guy who's a golf golfer." And then when I finally got the email saying we'd like to offer you a part, it was for the guy who dies at the very beginning. The beginning. <laughs> and and uh, Jessica said, uh, this, this character doesn't really have any lines, but you get to die in the very opening of the movie. And I said, I will take that. I, I think it's a rather important role, to be honest with you, because it sets off the whole movie because you are the guy that has been keeping Dr. Death locked away yeah. since Retro Puppet Master, who knows how long you've had him. I want to know that story. Yeah, I would like to I would like to know that story, how your character got Dr. Death from Re Retro Puppet Master to where you're dying in this old old home, nursery home or whatever. Yeah. And so essentially, if, 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 if it wasn't for your death, the murder and mayhem to come would not have happened. Exactly. So. <laughs> yeah, it's that a was a very important role. That was a. Uh frustrating perhaps to say to me is that my character is referred to throughout the entire movie <laughs> and, and they have a memorial service for me where my portrait doesn't actually have my face on it <laughs> so it's like when people write about the movie nobody remembers me <laughs> that's true but i i remembered you because yeah like i said oh, I, it, I really think it, yeah you. i think it's a very important role I, I mean i know some people look at that oh that's just a guy that died in the beginning of the movie whatever but seriously there is a story there where this guy had dr death he locked him away how did he do that how did he get there what happened along the way? There's a prequel movie uh, right there. I'm telling you. Oh, yeah, there absolutely. is. There is. Uh, because uh, the death and mayhem would not have occurred, would not have occurred. Good. Pay attention. And that was pretty cool because I, I've been a huge fan of Full Moon Features, Charles Band, and all them since I was a kid. And uh, I, I, I thoroughly enjoyed Dr. Death. And uh, I thought you, I thought your little death scene in the beginning, you know, I thought that was good. I thought, I, I thought you I did, did good. a lot of screaming. <laughs> and, and I'll tell you the truth. Uh, the director, Dave Parker, did a really good job of, of right. giving me, you know, redirects and, you know, now imagine this and 
you know, let your voice kind of do that. Um, if he had just said, scream and thrash around, you would not have gotten the, <laughs> the great screaming that you see. <laughs> that's that's really Dave's, to Dave's credit. But uh, it was a lot of fun to do. Oh, and a little piece of trivia. We shot it the way the script had it originally, which is right when I die, Dr. Death was supposed to burst out of my chest, oh. spraying my face with blood. And we, we shot me reacting to that. And the special effects guy, uh, Greg Leitner, literally had a squirt gun full of fake blood that he squirted in my face. <laughs> so I had that stuck in my eyes for a few days. <laughs> and then for whatever reason, they, they changed it and they didn't use that in the movie. Yeah. That would have been cool, though. But, so I mean, I guess you could. How are you going to explain he's in the trunk if he come bursting out of your chest? I guess. I guess, but it's always a dream anyway. So yeah, yeah, because he's like in your dream, he's climbing on you and stuff. Right. So yeah, but it was it was a good scene. I I enjoy it, and I it was it was a fun movie because I watched it over Halloween. And yeah, it's like it I said, was. And boy, yeah, yeah. Have I become a big Full Moon Features fan because of that. I got educated really quick. You, you know, I, I, all I did was you know I mentioned online that I'd gotten this part and people started, you know, messaging me and saying, Oh my God, that's so great. I've been a puppet master. And I'm like, wow, I had no idea, but I get it now. Yeah, you know? yeah. I've been schooling myself. There you go. I've been a fan I for years myself. I, me and my older brother, we used to watch them uh, in our room at night when we weren't supposed to, because right. you're not supposed oh, to. Yeah. They, they got murder. They got boobs. They got cuss words. You can't watch those. You're too young. But it's exactly. fun time. Exactly. <laughs> so, but yeah, and this like the, this retro, or I wanted to say retro puppet master because Doctor Death, but Doctor Death was good. It, it gave me what I wanted. It brought me back to that puppet master. You know, it gave me the killer puppet. It gave me the boobs. It gave me the blood. It gave me uh, the death, and. Uh, I, I find that it's a fun – people say, you know, horror movies and stuff like that. Why, well, I, wouldn't you rather just have us enjoy these movies like that instead of, like, acting out something <laughs> that we oh, should yeah. be acting like, You know what I mean? I, so, absolutely. Yeah, so – but I, I appreciate totally you agree. for coming on here. I oh, thank you. Uh, it was fun talking to you. And, uh, it, it, you know, I'm glad – it's fun good hearing stories about, you know, Dr. Death and all that. So thank yeah. you, Bill. I'm and always I, happy to talk about it. Yeah, there you go. There you go. And oh, I uh, appreciate you having me on. Thank you very yeah, much. Thank you. And I will once this video airs uh, about Doctor Death, I will put links in the description down below to follow you on Twitter, Instagram, oh, cool. whatever. Thank and uh, you know, check out Doctor Death and go watch Bill in the iconic blockbuster commercial. Yes. Yes. And you guys all have a good one. Thank you. <laughs>